Let's see. Where is the exhibit on launch seven years ago? There. That's the HET1 exhibit. Oh, wow! Look at that photo of the team! There's Clay and Mr. Starbuck, Director Cosmos, Aura Black Quill, and even Bonko. But I've never seen the woman on the right before. Everybody looks so happy! Well, except for Director Cosmos. Let's check out the newspaper article, too. HAT-1 launch imminent. And there's a photo of the Hope space probe. I guess it's only natural it doesn't talk about the murder or the sabotage. They really were keeping it a secret, just like the director said. Daddy, take a look at that jacket. It must be the HAT-1 team's uniform jacket. It's the same design as the one Apollo was wearing, the one that belonged to Clay. Actual jacket worn by a HAT-1 team member, it says. Not a replica, huh? I wonder if it was Mr. Starbucks. Hello? Oh, Miss Woods! What brings you here? I... I heard Athena got arrested. I've been looking for you, Mr. Wright. I thought you might be here, at the scene. You must be so worried. But rest assured, I'm going to do my very best to defend her. Athena's going through such a hard time. I hope she doesn't lose heart. Even just coming back to this place must have been really difficult for her. Huh? You mean the Cosmos Space Center? What? You didn't know? She used to live here when she was a little girl. Sh she did? No, I didn't know. No wonder she knew so much. Miss Woods, could you tell me more in detail? Athena's mom worked here. If I remember right, she was a doctor of psychology or something like that. But why was a psychology specialist working at a space research facility? I don't really know. But I do know that she lived and worked here, so Athena lived here too. So it was far from Athena's first time here. I wonder why she didn't mention it. She probably didn't want to talk about it. This place is connected to a very sad memory for her. A sad memory? Can you tell me about it? There was a terrible incident here. It was seven years ago. The same time frame as the HAT-1 launch. Athena's mom. In the robotics lab, she was... murdered. Wh what? After it happened, Athena stopped coming to school. Poor Athena. And all this time, she never let on at all. I was so worried about her. I came here so many times hoping to see her. But I never saw her again. After a while, we started exchanging letters. But I didn't get to see her face to face for seven long years. And so the first time you'd seen her in seven years was during Professor Court's case? That's right, and I was so surprised! She was like a completely different person, so cheerful and happy! What was Athena like as a child? She was very sensitive and kind. She didn't talk very much. 
She liked to draw and paint at home. That's completely different from the Athena we know now. I can't even picture it. She never left the Space Center much because... She was very sensitive to other people's emotions. When she went to crowded places, she'd get dizzy from all the emotions flying around. It must be hard to hear people's hearts as well as their voices. She always wore these big, heavy-looking headphones. She said her mother made them for her as part of her research. Huh. I wonder what kind of research it was. Because of her special ability, Athena couldn't handle being in school very often. And I was always out sick because of my weak constitution. Maybe that's why we became such good friends. We used to play together here at the Space Center a lot. It brings back memories. Sounds like Athena's mother played a big role here at the Space Center. Ooh! Daddy! Show her that picture! Atta girl! Good idea! Miss Woods, could you take a look at this for me? Oh, look! There's Thea's mom! The woman on the far right, the one in the kimono, that's Dr. Meta Sykes. Athena's mother's murder. Did it by any chance have any connection to the HAT-1 launch? What? Why, yes, it did. As I recall, it happened on the day before the launch. Just as I suspected. But that wasn't the worst of it! One of my staff members was murdered! So this is the murder Director Cosmos was talking about. Does that mean the crime prosecutor Black Hole is convicted of? Is the murder of Athena's mother? There's a chance her death is somehow connected to the current case. Th there is? Thank you for all your help, Miss Woods. And please, try not to worry. I won't let anything happen to Athena. Thank you, Mr. Wright. I know you'll take good care of her. So we need to investigate the robotics lab, and also talk to Athena. We've got our plates full, Daddy. I hope we can fit it all in before the day is through. The detention center first, then. We have to see Athena before visiting hours are over. Well, if it isn't Mr. Lawyer, fancy meeting you here. Oh, hello, Detective Fulbright. Here on business? Hmm, to tell the truth, I'm here to interview Ted Tonate. The one behind a courtroom bombing incident? He suddenly said that he's ready to tell the truth about that case. And what he was saying was so incredible, I just had to come right over to hear more. Incredible? What was he saying? Why don't you hang around and hear it for yourself? Really? Us? Are you sure? <laughs> I give you my special permission. Here comes the bomber now. You. What nerve you have to come here. You're here to laugh at me, I suppose. Like I'd waste my breath on you. After all, you're the one who assaulted Apollo and put him in the hospital. Violence dash no question dash okay. No violence. Too bad Apollo didn't get a chance to say that before you attacked him. Aye, aye. Fine. Then just answer me this, Mr. Tonight. What is this truth of yours about the courtroom you blew up? No. I didn't do IT. I didn't blow up the courtroom. When I killed Detective ARME, there was another person in the room. Wh what are you talking about? Who else could have been there? I saw IT, I tell you. I saw someone's hand as they were stealing the remote switch. 
This person was there and witnessed the murder I committed. But what? I don't know who IT was. But that's who blew up the courtroom. You expect us to buy that? Easy there, Trucy. I don't see any psych logs. So I guess he must not be lying. Pardon me. I got a little carried away. But I'm telling you the truth. I did not detonate that bomb. And there you have it. We can't exactly ignore his claims, of course, so we're doing a follow-up. We're even analyzing the bomb itself, or what's left of it. We haven't found any new facts yet, though. Wow. They've laid it all out, piece by piece. Oh, look at all those beautiful little pieces. I, I wish I could have them. Uh-oh. Looks like his geek switch has been activated. Well, I hope you're ready for Prosecutor Blackwill's special brand of questioning. A-A-A, G-H, anything but that. I'm afraid I have to be off now, too. I was just about to question Ms. Sykes. You're going to see Athena now? That's right. Oh, did you folks come to see her? Sorry for the trouble, but could you come back later? Well, off I go. <laughs> what bad timing. Looks like we'll have to wait till after her questioning is over to see her. And after we came all this way, too. Well, I guess it's back to the Space Center. Let's go check out the robotics lab, Daddy. Alright, sounds like a plan. So this is the robotics lab, huh? Looks like it's exactly one floor above the boarding lounge. And where people were directed to evacuate from via the emergency ladder. This is where Athena's mother was killed seven years ago. Speaking of someone who works with robots... Daddy, look! Over there! So they plan to use this bag to carry the capsule, is that right? Yeah, more or less. Say, why don't we stop talking about the case and have a nice cup of tea instead? Apollo and Or Blackwell? I wonder what they're talking about. Well, well, come to spoil our fun, just when I was enjoying our alone time. Trucy, and Mr. Wright. If it's Apollo you want, you can't have him. He said he's investigating on his own. And I respect his wishes. We just came here to investigate this lab. Well, this is my lab, so you'll need my permission if you want to do any snooping. I heard about that trial. You made mincemeat out of the director. And suddenly Starbuck was out and your little subordinate, the princess, was in. Case closed. And they all lived happily ever after. Ha ha ha! Daddy, say something to her! And I suppose you're going to defend the princess in court. Am I right? The princess, huh? Guess she's talking about Athena. Of course! Athena is innocent! Oh my, such loyalty and trust. She seems pretty suspicious to me, though. The emotionally unstable princess. There's your culprit for you. Don't you agree, Apollo? I... I don't know yet. Apollo? How could you? What's wrong with saying I don't know if it's true? It's a very scientific approach. Your support is more level-headed than you. Or should I say, former subordinate? <laughs> I can't believe it. Does Apollo really suspect Athena? Whew. All 
this laughing has worn me out. Your turn to say something, hunk of junk. Mr. Taran, you look pale. Shall I help you to the sick bay? Mr. Taran? But that's Apollo you're talking to. Oh, this hunk of junk here is mistaking Apollo for clay. Maybe Apollo is possessed by clay's ghost. Mr. Taran, how are your injuries? Mr. Taran! Mr. Taran, how are your injuries? Mr. Taran! I guess Clay intends to hang around to haunt the princess that murdered him. Oh, and to haunt the lawyer that defends her too, of course. A robot that can see ghosts? Yeah, right. And I'm a spirit medium. Sorry, but apparently scientists just don't tell very frightening ghost stories. I intend to defend Athena, no matter what you have to say about it. How perfectly foolish. That kind of blind belief makes people lose sight of the truth. Just like seven years ago. Hi, kitty! Oh! Oh, damn it. Hi, Tysa. And what he was saying was so incredible, I had to come over right away to hear what he was blarred. <laughs> he suddenly said he's ready to tell the truth about what that... I can't read this thing, it's so low quality. Let me try that again. I was just about to question Mr. Kikes. Mrs. Kikes. Or oh, Mrs. Sykes. I... Oh, Miss Woods, what brings you here? I... I heard Athena got arrested. I've been looking for you, Mr. Wright. I thought you might be here, at the scene. You must be so worried. But rest assured, I'm going to do my very best to defend her. Athena's going through such a hard time. I hope she doesn't lose heart. Even just coming back to this place must have been really difficult for her. Huh? You mean the Cosmos Space Center? What? You didn't know? She used to live here when she was a little girl. Sh she did? No, I didn't know. No wonder she knew so much. Miss Woods, could you tell me more in detail? But I've never seen the woman on the right before. Everybody looks so happy. Well, except for Director Cosmos. Let's check out the newspaper article, too. HAT-1 launch imminent. And there's a photo of the Hope space probe. I guess it's only natural it doesn't talk about the murder or the sabotage. They really were keeping it a secret. Just like the- Let's see. Where's the exhibit on launch seven years ago? There. That's the HET1 exhibit. Oh wow! Look at that photo of the team! There's Clay, and Mr. Starbuck, Director Cosmos, or a black quill, and even Ponko. The director said, Daddy, take a look at that jacket. It must be the HAT-1 team's uniform jacket. It's the same design as the one Apollo was wearing, the one that belonged to Clay. Actual jacket worn by a HAT-1 team member, it says. Not a replica, huh? I wonder if it was Mr. Starbucks.